Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in the simplest possible way. In the series of pattern printing, so far we have discussed so many patterns. In this video, we will see how we can print this particular pattern using for loop, string concatenation and also string multiplication. If you don't know about string concatenation and string multiplication, my first video of pattern printing where I have explained clearly about how we can use this string concatenation and string multiplication to print this kind of a pattern. So let's go ahead and see how we can print this particular pattern. So if you carefully see here, we can divide this pattern into two different patterns and after once we can able to print two patterns and we can combine them and get this particular pattern. Now what I wanted to do is that I will divide this pattern into two patterns. One is above pattern and another one is below pattern. After that I will combine both of these patterns and we will able to get this particular whole pattern as together so for that reason i will take first this particular pattern and print this pattern so for that reason i will take a number which is of 5 because if you carefully see this particular pattern we have 5 rows till here for that reason i am taking number which is of 5 so if you carefully see here we have along with this particular stars we have spaces one is outer spaces which are coming for this particular stars and another one is inner spaces that are present inside this particular stars. So for that reason, I will take one variable which is outer spaces. I will initialize this outer spaces with zero because my first row, I don't have any outer spaces. For that reason, initial value of outer spaces. So if you carefully see this inner spaces, I will take a variable as inner spaces to keep track of this particular inner spaces so in the first row i don't have any inner spaces but i will start this inner spaces with this second row so if you carefully see here we have some spaces so to keep track of these spaces first we will try to understand how we are getting this particular pattern so if you carefully see here we have nine stars how we are getting these nine stars which is of two into how many number of rows with of number minus 1 so for that reason i am getting 9 stars because 5 into 2 which is of 10 10 minus 1 which is of 9 because of that reason i am getting 9 stars you see all every row we have 9 positions either filled with spaces or either filled with stars so why i am telling this because to keep track of this inner spaces we need to understand this so this inner spaces we have nine positions out of nine positions two positions occupied this particular one space and one stars and at the end of two positions are occupied with one space and one star so first what i have is that two into number which is of how many number of values that i am having minus one so initially i am having this after that what i am having is that two positions are occupied with one space and one stars and two positions are occupied with one one stars so for that reason i am subtracting four because i am going out of four positions so we can actually manually count and mention how many spaces we are having but if i change the value of five to some other value the positions will be for that reason we are getting we are finding this particular pattern here so if you calculate this two in i which is of two into number which is of five which results 10 10 minus one which is of uh, 10 10 minus 1 which is of 9 9 minus 4 which is of 5 if you see the spaces 1 2, 4 and 5 5 5 spaces we are getting so ultimately we are getting 5 positions so to get logically how we are getting 5 positions are derived this particular thing from this particular observation here so that is the whole thing that what we have done so to get this particular pattern first i will be using a for loop to iterate all of these values for i in range i will be generating a range of values from number till zero but on each iteration i will reduce this number with minus one so i will be getting the result in a reverse direction so i hope you can able to understand if not i have clearly explained this range function and for loops in our previous video you can check that as well so here what i will be doing is that if you carefully see here this pattern is fine we are getting one star and one space we are getting some kind of pattern but 
this this row and this row are deviating with this pattern so we need to mention a condition to handle this this row so for that reason i will be mentioning an if condition saying if my i value equal to equal to number which the whatever the number that we are having results into this particular row which i equal to that particular row or if i equal to equal to this particular single number is results into one at that time what i will be doing is that i will be printing first we need to print this outer spaces in order to get this single star in the first row we don't have outer spaces but in this row we have outer spaces for that reason i will be mentioning a star a space multiplied with outer spaces so in the first row we have outer spaces as zero so for that reason we don't get any outer spaces but this row we need outer spaces for that reason only i am mentioning outer spaces so if i go and concatenate this outer spaces with a single star so we have star here but in this row we have single star but in this row we don't left with only single star we have some other pattern which is 2 into how many number of rows that we are having minus 1 as we have discussed here so i will mention as 2 to i because we are iterating through i and i minus 1 so by mentioning this we can actually get this kind of a pattern so if i am having the value as 5 5 into 2 which results 10 10 minus 1 which is of 9 that is what the pattern that is what the star that i am having if i have 1 here 2 into 1 which is 2 2 minus 1 which is of 1 that again results into a single star i hope you can able to understand after completion of this particular printing what we need to do is that we need to do something to this outer spaces because in this if you carefully see here the outer spaces are incrementing on each iteration for that reason we need to increment this outer spaces outer spaces plus equal to 1 by having this i am incrementing the outer spaces so if you don't occur this particular pattern if you are dealing with these particular rows what do i need to do that i will mention an else block inside of this else block i will print first we have outer spaces right so for that reason i will mention a space and multiply with outer spaces after completion of this outer spaces here we have this single stars for that reason i will mention a star and i will multiply this star uh, we don't have to multiply anything with star because we only have single stars here so after that what i will do is that i will concatenate this star with inner spaces because middle we have these spaces for that reason i will mention a space here and i will multiply this space with inner spaces variable that we are having so after completion of this inner spaces also i am mentioning one more star because at the end i am getting one more star here so for that reason i am mentioning star and after completion of printing this particular line or row here what we need to do is that we need to increment this particular spaces uh, not decrement increment this particular spaces which are outer spaces and decrement inner spaces so inner spaces will be incremented with what two here because if you carefully see here in this row we have one three four five spaces the next row we have one three spaces the next row we have only one space you can able to understand on each iteration we are reducing the spaces with two so if i execute this so i am getting some error here saying right with so i am saying this star and i need to mention a something like this so it will be confused with this particular thing so if i execute this i can able to get this particular above pattern which is here so what i need to do next is that i need to get something i need to write code to get this particular below pattern so for that let's go and write the code so for that i will taking one more for loop i will take its j variable in range this time i will be starting with 2 because if you carefully see here we have already achieved this 
single star so for that reason i will start with two value and go up to how many number of rows that, how many numbers we are having how many number of rows so for that reason i will start with two i will mention num this one because that is what the number that we have taken initially so what i need to do inside of this particular thing is that we have actually uh, completed this single star we only focus on this uh, whole stars here so for that i will mention a condition if the number equal to equal to not number but j value that is what we have taken here right so if the j value equal to equal to number i will just print the values which are of star multiplied with 2 to j minus 1 that is what we need to print right that is what we have done previously also but if you previously we have printed this outer spaces but if you carefully observe here we are having only this particular thing and we don't require any outer spaces because of that reason i am mentioning only this particular stars so if this condition is not true we will go to else block and try to print this particular pattern here so for that reason i will take a print and i will print first outer spaces or spaces and i will concatenate this outer spaces with a single star that is what we are having here so after that i will mention one more thing is of i will concatenate this with spaces which are of inner spaces inner space and at the end i will concatenate this inner spaces with a single star that is what we are having at the end here so after completion of this what we need to do is that we need to do some modification to outer spaces and inner spaces for outer spaces what we need to do is that we need to decrement the outer spaces because here if you carefully see the outer spaces are becoming reduced on each iteration for that reason i will mention outer spaces minus equal to one what happened to inner spaces is that inner spaces will be incremented two on each iteration this we have one space here we have three spaces and here we have five spaces like that we need to increment with two value so plus two here so if i execute this i will get some different pattern that what we expected previously but we will fix that first we will see the result so if i execute this i am getting this particular different pattern because there is some mistake with spaces so let's see what the values that we are having with the outer spaces and as well as inner spaces so if i execute this i am getting the outer spaces as 5 and the inner spaces as minus 1 so but i want these outer spaces only 3 here and the, i want the inner spaces only 1 so what i need to do is that i need to do some modification to outer spaces to make this 5 value to 3 so for that reason i will reduce this two times if i reduce this to two times i will get the value of outer spaces as 3 so what happened to inner spaces is that inner spaces need to come one here so here we have we need to have one inner space for that reason what i will do is that i will increment this particular inner space with two so i will just comment this for now and if i execute this i can able to get the whole pattern that what we have expected previously here right so now what i will be doing is that i will remove this particular comments of spaces and now i will take this value dynamically from the so i am mentioning int put i am asking user to enter any number so if i execute this if i give the value as 5 that is what we have done previously i will get this particular result that what we expected so if i execute this some other value let's say i am giving this time the value as 12 we can actually get the same pattern that what we so i will give some other number let's say i am giving 8 here so still we can get this particular so by using this logic we can able to get this particular pattern with whatever the user given in so i hope you can able to understand this so if not let me explain simply one more time so here we are taking number and as observed in this pattern we have observed outer spaces 
and we have also observed inner spaces for that reason we have taken two variable to track outer spaces and as well as inner spaces so in the for loop we think that first we need to print this particular above pattern and after we need to print the pattern for that reason we have taken two for loops here and one more for loop here to print two different patterns so in the first for loop what we have done is that we have started with a number and go till zero on each iteration we are reduced with one so we have identified this first row and this row are deviating with particular pattern so for that we have mentioned a condition if i equal to equal to whatever the number that we are having or i equal to equal to one at that time we are just printing the spaces which are of outer spaces and this particular pattern of number of stars here so after that we are incrementing this outer spaces because that on each iteration these spaces are being printed so after that in the else block if this is not true which the condition is not true we are going to else block and printing whatever the thing that we are having with this particular single star and the in outer spaces and a single star and inner spaces and at the end we have this uh, one more star here so we are doing some modifications to outer spaces we are incrementing and we are incrementing the number of inner spaces here so based on this pattern so we have identified some modifications need to be done before going to below pattern we have done these modifications in the below pattern what we are taking is that we are actually starting with value 2 and go till the number and we have identified this pattern this line is deviating with actual patterns for that we have mentioned a condition to print this particular row and after that we have mentioned whatever the logic for to print this particular pattern which is of outer spaces star and inner spaces and at the end a single star so for that at the end we will be mentioning outer spaces are decrementing by this pattern and the inner spaces are incrementing by two uh, by this pattern so now i hope you can able to understand this well so in the next video we will see how we can print this particular pattern so far we have discussed only stars the next videos we will be printing this particular numbers and as well as some characters patterns as well so keep updated for, uh, subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications to on so that whenever i upload any video you will get the notification and if you found this video interesting hit the like button and thank you for watching this video see you in the next one